Rate Certified 11 years in a row. Welcome back. We're checking back in on your pinpoint weather forecast. And Nate, in the past week or so, we've seen snow, we've seen slush, we've seen cold, we've seen wind. What's to come over the next few days here? Oof, more of that, uh, Sarah. We've got oh, wind wait. out there. It's already howling. Snow coming down in the mountain areas, fairly heavily in some of the mountain areas. Powder Mountain already seeing. It looks like the wind has tried to blow up some of the snow on the snow stake, but about four inches on the snow stake right now for Powder Mountain. A couple of inches being reported at Alta and snow even falling across some of the valley locations. This is I-15 and I-8. 84 near Tree Mountain. Looks like the roads are wet. You can see kind of the sideways blowing snow. So you're going to have some impacts if you're heading out in the roads this evening in northern Utah with that band of snow sliding south across the state. Cold front tonight, actually. In fact, it'll be here uh, after I think 10 o'clock through about 3 o'clock. We expect to see the heaviest bands of snow. Advisories are posted. We have another storm system arriving tomorrow in the late afternoon and evening. So a, a round of storms. And we'll continue to see below normal temperatures unfortunately as well. If you were wanting some of that spring weather, we had temperatures in the 40s today, closer to average. We should be actually in the low 50s this time of year. But we have winter weather advisories for our mountain areas, including the northern Wasatch Front and Box Elder County, at least the eastern portion of it, Cache Valley as well. So the mountains, 8 to 16 inches. The Cottonwoods could see closer to 18 inches. The Wasatch Back, 4 to 8 inches. Park City could see about an, a foot of snow. Northern Valleys expecting 2 to 5 inches, primarily, I think, uh, for Cache Valley, the Bear River Valley, and some of the valley location along the Wasatch Front could see some accumulations, uh, I think a couple of inches. Wind gusts over the mountains up to 55 miles per hour as this front rolls through. So hang on to your hats. We've already got strong winds across the southern part of the state. Here comes the snow. This is 9 o'clock, continuing over the mountain areas. Best chance along the Wasatch Front for accumulations will be overnight. Should be out of here by the commute uh, on Sunday. I guess there's no real commute tomorrow, but Monday we have another chance of some moisture as well. Uh, here comes this next trough. This one also brings a good chance of some snow tomorrow evening. This is 7 o'clock and it should be out of here in time for the Monday morning drive, but there could likely be some lingering impacts from the snow on the roads, especially in the lesser travel areas like your neighborhoods to side streets could still have some snow on those roads, but I, I suspect we'll, we'll have enough time to clear a lot of the main roads uh, by Monday morning with some scattering showers or some scattered showers lingering into the afternoon. Future uh, snowfall again, a couple of inches expected with our system tonight and Sunday night. Uh, here's a look at some of the areas we're expecting. Again, a good eight inches or so in Park City, Heber two inches, maybe an inch or two across some of the Wasatch Front, Logan about four inches, Randolph almost five, Evanston almost six inches of moisture or snow is expected with this storm system. So St. George about 55 on Sunday, breezy winds, plan on some clouds, dry weather down over southern Utah though for tomorrow and Monday. Temperatures hovering in the mid 50s. Normally we're in the low 60s this time of year, so below Low average temperatures statewide. Chance of rain arriving on Thursday, a slight chance Friday and on Saturday. Wasatch Front, chance of snow showers again primarily tomorrow, late in the afternoon and evening, and we have snow coming in tonight. Breezy winds, high of 40 tomorrow, 37 on Monday. Overnight lows in the 20s, 37 on Tuesday. Temperatures again trending about 15 degrees colder than normal. Chance of snow Wednesday, Thursday, not a slam dunk. Temperatures are gradually warming up to the low 40s again as we get into the weekend, but another system moving in, bringing more rain and snow by next Saturday as well. Sarah?